Now, let's jump into a physical description of our custom product design. Thanks, Dave. Here is 50 mils inside a 100 mil crystal clear custom IV bag. This bag has three ports at the bottom. We use these two for manufacturing. You don't have to worry about it. The only one you need to know is this last one with the wing. When administering, you will twist this off, insert your spike for your filtered IV set, and administration comes right after. Rattler Antivenom will arrive at the clinic in a shipping container similar to this one. When it arrives, the clinic needs to put their antivenin in the freezer right away. This is different than other antivenins that usually are stored in the fridge. Now our product has a shelf life of three years and the product should remain frozen until they're ready to use it. When ready to use the product, the technician will take the product out of the freezer and unpackage it. Included in the packaging is an insert explaining more information if they need it. To thaw, you're going to place this in a warm water bath. The technician will massage the antivenin in a warm water bath for about three to five minutes until it's up to body temperature and ready to administer. Twisting off the port on the end, you insert a filtered IV set, piercing the membrane. And you're ready to go. Always use a filtered IV set when giving this product. It is a blood product and a filter is always wise. When administration starts, the clinician will want to go very slowly for the first couple minutes to make sure there's no signs of anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis can occur when any foreign body enters another body. Now clinicians know that when they're using antivenin, they're gonna always wanna have an anaphylaxis kit ready. This is just because this is going from one donor animal into another animal. After those first couple minutes, if everything seems fine, the dog is doing great, then the uh, rate of infusion can increase uh, depending on the animal's body weight. This typically will be about 20 to 60 minutes. It is very important that you get all the 50 mils into the animal, no matter what the body size is. With Rattler Antivenom, size does not matter. What we mean by that that is that the size of your patient isn't actually what determines the dose size that you're going to give. If you have a small dog, a large dog, or a 2,000 pound draft horse, you still need to give the full 50 mils. The reason for that is because you're treating the amount of venom that came from that snake. We don't know if it was a small snake, a big snake, how long ago the bite happened, how much time has passed, how long the venom's been in the system. So because of that, we developed the product and are marketing it purposefully for the full 50 mil dose. If in six to eight hours the clinical signs are still there, they may need to give a second dose. This is an atypical envenomation.